Hello everyone, welcome to RBR Life Science. Today we are going to discuss about Manitol Salt Agar. After watching this video, you will be able to understand. Introduction of Manitol Salt Agar Principle of Manitol Salt Agar, then Composition and Different Uses of Manitol Salt Agar Manitol salt agar is a type of solid growth medium. This is a selective and differential medium. It is used to isolate and differentiate staphylococci bacteria. Nowadays, manitol salt agar is also available commercially. Companies like High Media and many others manufacture MSA agar in dehydrated forms. This is a commercially available MSA agar media bottle from High Media. This bottle contains MSA agar powder. This powder is a mixture of different ingredients. The ingredients present in mannitol salt agar powder are peptone, beef extract, sodium chloride, D mannitol, phenol red, and agar. Now let's discuss what is the role of these individual ingredients present in MSA agar. The first ingredient is peptone. It is the source of the organic nitrogen. The second ingredient is beef extract. Beef extract is source of nitrogen, carbon, vitamins, and minerals. The third ingredient is sodium chloride. In MSA, sodium chloride acts as selective agent. It also maintains the osmotic balance. The fourth ingredient is d -manitol. It is the fermentable carbohydrate source. The fifth ingredient in MSA agar is phenol red. Phenol red is a pH indicator. It is yellow at acidic pH when the pH is below 6.8. It is red at neutral pH, when the pH is around 7.4. It is pink at alkaline pH, when the pH is above 8.4. The sixth and last ingredient present in the mannitol salt agar is agar. Agar acts as a solidifying agent. Mannitol salt agar powder is used for the preparation of MSA agar plates. These plates are then used for doing mannitol salt agar test. Now let's discuss about principle of mannitol salt agar. MSA agar is selective for staphylococci bacteria. Only halophilic bacteria grow on this medium. It also differentiates mannitol utilizing bacteria. Mannitol fermenter bacterial colony appear as yellow and mannitol non-fermenter bacterial colony appear as red. Now let's discuss in detail about how mannitol salt agar is selective and differential. First, we will see how it is selective. MSA agar contains 7.5% sodium chloride. This is very high salt concentration. Such high salt concentration inhibits the growth of most of the gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. So, this medium is not suitable for the growth of routine bacteria such as E. coli. But in 7.5% salt concentration, staphylococci bacteria grow and multiply very well. This indicates that only high salt concentration, tolerant bacteria, which are known as halophilic bacteria, grow on MSA agar. The bacteria in the genus Staphylococci are halophilic, therefore the MSA agar is selective for Staphylococci bacteria. Now let's discuss how mannitol salt agar is differential. The two important components which make MSA differential are First one is mannitol and second one is phenol red. The mannitol is a sugar alcohol. It is derived from mannose, which is a type of sugar. This is the structure of mannose sugar and this is the structure of D-mannitol. You can see the alcohol group attached to this molecule. 
Therefore, the chemical structure of mannitol is similar to sugar and alcohol. Mannitol is a fermentable carbohydrate source for some species of staphylococci, such as Staphylococcus aureus. During fermentation, the bacteria use mannitol as an energy source and produce acidic byproducts, which decrease the pH of the medium surrounding the bacterial colony. However, certain species of staphylococci, like Staphylococcus epidermis, are not able to utilize mannitol as an energy source because they lack certain enzymes for the mannitol utilization pathway. Therefore, there is no fermentation of mannitol by these species, and hence, there is no acid production, resulting in no change in the pH of the medium surrounding the bacterial colony. So, how do we detect the acid production or change in pH in this case? This is where the phenol red comes into the picture. Phenol red is a pH indicator and it detects the change in pH. When the pH of the medium is below 6.8, then medium will appear yellow in color and, at neutral pH, that is around 6.9 to 8.4 pH, the medium will appear red in color. Suppose this is the mannitol salt agar layer in petri plate. The two types of molecules shown in agar layer are mannitol and phenol red. Since the pH of the medium is neutral, the medium appears red in color. Suppose these are two bacterial colonies growing on the surface of MSA agar. Both of these colonies contain thousands of bacteria. The bacteria present in colony on right side utilize mannitol for their growth. Therefore, they will ferment all the mannitol molecule present in nearby agar layer where the colony is growing. This mannitol fermentation causes acid production surrounding the bacterial colony. Due to this acid production, the neutral pH of the medium gets lowered to the acidic, below pH 6, and red-colored phenol red molecule become yellow-colored at acidic pH. Therefore, the bacterial colony utilizing mannitol and surrounding area become yellow-colored. So, more the fermentation of mannitol, more is the production of acid, and therefore, there will be bright yellow-colored colonies. Now suppose, the bacteria present in the colony, on left side, they do not utilize any mannitol molecule. Since these bacteria don't utilize mannitol, there will be no fermentation of mannitol and there will be no production of acid surrounding the bacterial colony. Therefore, the pH around this bacterial colony will remain neutral, therefore, at neutral pH, phenol red molecule appear red in color, therefore the whole colony is appearing as red colored. In this way, the bacterial colony on right side is mannitol fermenter and the bacterial colony on left side is mannitol non-fermenter. Here on this mannitol salt agar plate, two types of staphylococci are streaked. The bacteria streaked on the lower side of the plate is Staphylococcus aureus, it ferments the mannitol, therefore there is acidic pH below 6.8. Therefore, Staphylococcus aureus and surrounding medium appear yellow in color. The bacteria streaked on upper side is Staphylococcus epidermis, it doesn't utilize mannitol, therefore, there is no change in pH, and pH of the medium is neutral. Therefore, Staphylococcus epidermis and surrounding medium appear orange-red colored. In this way, by using phenol red, we can easily differentiate between the acid-producing and non-acid-producing species of staphylococci based on the color change. If the medium turns yellow, it means that the bacteria are producing acid, and if it remains red, it means that there is no acid production. Now let's discuss what is composition of mannitol salt agar. If you don't have the commercially available mannitol salt agar media, then you can make mannitol salt agar medium by adding individual components. So, these individual components are peptone, beef extract, sodium chloride, mannitol, phenol red, and agar. 
This is the standard formula for making 1 liter mannitol salt agar medium. You have to weigh all these ingredients and dissolve them in 1000 ml distilled water. And then adjust the pH at 7.4 plus or minus 0.2 at 25 degrees Celsius. Now let's see what are the uses of mannitol salt agar. MSA agar is used for Isolation and identification of pathogenic bacterium Staphylococcus aureus. It is used for the differentiation of Staphylococcus aureus from other staphylococci based on mannitol utilization. It also can be used for screening of methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. So friends, now let us summarize what we learned so far about mannitol salt agar. MSA is selective and differential culture media. It contains ingredients like mannitol, sodium chloride, peptone, beef extract, phenol red, and agar. Selective components in MSA is sodium chloride, therefore, only halophilic bacteria, such as staphylococci, can grow on it. Differential components are mannitol and phenol red. Mannitol fermenters bacteria appear yellow colored. Mannitol non fermenter bacteria appear orange red colored. MSA agar is mainly used for isolation and identification of staphylococci. For more information on mannitol salt agar media, please read my blog post on mannitol salt agar. In the Google type mannitol salt agar RBR and search. This is my article on the top mannitol salt agar by RBR Life Science. Please read this blog post. You can also solve the MCQ on mannitol salt agar. Go to the end of the blog post and click on Solve MCQ on mannitol salt agar and start solving the MCQ. So friends, thank you for watching this video, if you want to watch such more videos then, please like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, RBR Life Science. For more information, you can visit our blog website, rbrlifescience.com. The link to our blog website is given in the description.